Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Amanda and today we're gonna make muffin pan strawberry shortcakes. My family and I went and picked some strawberries at a local strawberry farm a few days ago. And so now I am making some strawberry recipe dishes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. And we're gonna start with the dry ingredients first. So we need one and a half cups of flour. And for this recipe, I am making it wheat, not gluten-free. Let me grab a knife real fast. That way I can scoop it out nicely. So again, one and a half cups of flour. And so we're going to do all our dry ingredients first and set them in this small bowl. Okay, now we're going to need one tablespoon of baking powder. We're going to need a pinch of salt. We're gonna need a half a cup of sugar. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just stir these ingredients together. All right, I'm just gonna set this aside and now we're gonna start on our wet ingredients. Let me get a bowl for that. And we'll go ahead and start on this. So now we're gonna start on our wet ingredients. We need half a cup of milk. We need a fourth cup of vegetable oil. We need half a cup of Greek yogurt. We need one teaspoon of vanilla. And we also need one teaspoon of white vinegar. My seven month old is sleeping right now and my middle child is watching some Bluey and I figured I'd go ahead and get this going and then I'll make us some lunch and we'll get outside to work on the garden because it's not raining and there's so much to get done during garden season. So, all right, let's get back on track and let's go ahead and mix this together. So first I'm gonna mix in just my wets. Let's just mix all those together. done just want to make sure that they're nicely combined it together so let's go ahead and we're gonna fold in our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients let me go get a spatula I'll be right back all right so I got my spatula and we're gonna go ahead and fold in our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in let me show you what that looks like okay so we're gently folding them folding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and you don't want to over mix but you want to make sure that you don't see any more um, dry ingredients It works very well using the spatula so that way you can definitely get all the stuff down on the sides. 
Now I am just fast forwarding because we will be here forever watching me gently folding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. You just want to make sure that you don't see any more dry ingredients, but definitely gently fold it into the wet ingredients. Okay, here is what my batter looks like. Just gonna scrape down the sides. And I'm gonna get my muffin tray out. So I got my muffin tray and we are actually gonna use silicone muffin cups. So my middle one is gonna help me with it. You can help me with it. All right, go ahead, go ahead and put them in there. So how many got one? Keep on. Two. You can count for me? Three. Good job. Four. Uh-huh. job bud high five thank you all right I'm gonna go ahead and get something to scoop them out in I'm gonna go ahead and spray them you don't have to with the silicone ones but I like to that way then they really pop out easily and also cleaning this afterwards is a lot easier make a funny sound <laughs> all right that's done. Now I am going to take a fourth measuring cup. Um, you can use like a, a cookie scoop or anything like that. I don't have that. So I'm going to just use a measuring cup and I'm using a fourth. So I'm going to scoop the batter and I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. What is that? In. It's a measuring cup. Hmm. Yeah. Is this mugging? Mm, I like the <laughs> All right. So we got that one. How many do I got now? One, two. Good job. Three. Uh huh. You gonna eat these? Yeah. Do you know what else we're gonna make with them? What? Some strawberries to go on top and heavy whipping cream. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like a whipped cream. Yum, huh? <laughs> All right. So how many do we have now? So one, two, three, four, five. Good job. Six. Good job. And then another one is seven. The next one's gonna be seven. Yeah. Seven. So what did it? <laughs> What's that one? Eight. Eight. Nine. Good job. Ten. Uh huh. Eleven. Good job. Oh, I don't like it. Hopefully there's no raw eggs in it. 20. No, 11. Oh, what comes after 11? 12. Good job. You you just wish there was 20 muffin cups, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just scooping out the rest of the batter here so we don't waste it. You see what I'm doing? Yep. I'm putting it in the extra cups. Mm. Well, not extra cups, just trying to fill up the cups that look a little low. Oh, that one looks really low right there. See how that one looked low? Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's quite a bit more. I used the measuring cup that I put the vegetable oil in, and that's why it's sliding out <laughs> very careful. easily with the batter. Got it? Here, scrape it. See? There you go. No, don't lick it. You want to lick it? Okay, go ahead and try it. There's no eggs in it. They're good? Yeah. Well, he approves of it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. All right, so now that our muffins are ready to go into the oven, I'm gonna get them in the oven. It is already preheated at 350 degrees, and I'm gonna bake them for 14 to 16 minutes. And then when the timer is up, I'm gonna check them to see if they come out clean, and then we'll know they're done. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Set the timer before I forget. All right, let's do it for 14 and we'll check it at the 14 mark to see how they're doing. Cause I'd, I would rather set it at the 14 mark than the 16 and overcook it. So let's check it at the 14. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna make the strawberry topping part to this recipe while the muffins are in the oven cooking. And I'm gonna put an apron on so I don't get strawberry juice all over myself. 
but we are doubling this part because I can't eat the muffin and I would like to have some strawberries with uh, vanilla ice cream. So um, I'm gonna be making vanilla ice cream as well later and that way I can have that with it. But if you are looking for my vanilla ice cream recipe, it is in a previous video and you can find it there. So let's go ahead and start chopping up some strawberries. We need four cups of frozen, not frozen, we need four cups of strawberries. And I am using the fresh strawberries that we picked the other day at the strawberry farm. So let's go ahead and get those chopped up. Before I forget, instead of me using a nice glass fancy bowl, I'm actually putting my strawberries in Tupperware. That way then it's gonna store nicely in my fridge and it's not gonna get messy if someone puts something on top of something. So that way it'll have a lid. All right, let's go chop now. <laughs> Now the nice thing is, is we're not having this until later tonight after dinner. So go ahead and getting this prepped and ready now makes it nice and easy to have a dessert ready after dinner. And before I pick up my daughter, I will make a new batch of the vanilla ice cream. It is so good. It does not last long in this house. So I'm just chopping them into like bite sizes because once you add the sugar with it as well, they're going to release a lot of water and they're going to soften. So it'll be easy for um, my two older ones to eat and not have to worry about they're too big, that kind of thing. And again, I am doubling this recipe. That way, me for being gluten-free, I can have this on top of ice cream, and I will have the um, the whipped cream with it as well. Okay, so that is two cups right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up two more cups. another two cups all right so we have four cups total of cut up strawberries okay so now we need four tablespoons of white sugar is this a peanut butter that is that's a new one we got So it's four tablespoons of sugar. Let me go get my middle child some peanut butter. He absolutely loves peanut butter. So do I. It is really good. We both got a spoonful of peanut butter. Pretty good now. <laughs> it was really tasty. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and mix this together. And then we're gonna put the lid on. And I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. And then that way when we have it tonight after dinner, it's gonna be ready. All the juices are gonna relax and it's gonna be perfect. So there's our strawberry mixture, it's ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge and I'm really excited, we actually got a new refrigerator. So now we have a refrigerator in the garage and a freezer in the garage and then this one here as well. So this is gonna be perfect for um, garden season when I have lots of peppers and cucumbers and tomatoes and things like that. And it's gonna be ideal. I'm so excited, super excited for this garden season to start. And I mean, it is starting, but nothing's really planted yet. But I can't wait to harvest things and bring them into the house. All right, so let's go ahead and get on to the next thing. 14 minute timer just went off, so I'm gonna go ahead and check on the muffins. Ooh, wow, they look beautiful. 
I'm definitely gonna stick it in for two more minutes. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling everything out so we can make homemade whipped cream. My two minute timer just went off and I slowly started getting everything out for making the um, whipped cream. But let's check on these. They are perfect. Go ahead and turn the oven off. I might have to make these gluten-free because they look really tasty. Ooh, nice and fluffy. Let me show you what they look like. fluffy they look. I think everyone's going to be really happy with these. All right, let's go ahead and start getting going for, um, for making the whipped cream. Okay, so for making the whipped cream, we need three fourths of heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. And also I'm using my mixing, my stand mixer, and I'm going to use the whisk attachment for it. It seems so quiet in my house right now. My daughter went back to school. Spring break is over. My youngest is taking a really nice long nap. And my middle child, I think he's really tired and worn out from how long the week has been. Having family in town, celebrating his birthday, Easter. We actually celebrated his birthday twice. So it's really, it's quiet in here today. <laughs> All right, so now that we have three fourths cups of cups of heavy whipping cream, we're gonna need uh, one teaspoon, or sorry, one tablespoon of sugar. I think I'm still tired from the week too. <laughs> All right, so one tablespoon of white sugar, and we need a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. After this, and I get the ice cream done, we're gonna make um, some lunch and then have a, I think we're gonna do an indoor picnic. It's not raining out, but it's kind of gloomy out today. So, all right, so now we have all that in there. We're gonna go ahead and close this and we're gonna put it in lock and then we're gonna put it on high and we're gonna let it mix for a good three to four minutes. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. Turn it all the way to high and whip it for a good three to four minutes until it forms a stiff peak form and it's nice and fluffy. All right, so it's been four minutes now. <laughs> I might actually have to make more of this. I don't know if this is going to be enough for my family. So, all right. I think I'm going to put this in a container and then actually make some more. Let me take this off. And I'm putting it in a container. Something that's going to be airtight. And this can um, last in the fridge so that we can have it tonight. That way, using it right away. The whipped cream is good for up to three days in the refrigerator. <clears throat> you know what? I think this will be perfect for tonight because we are having it as well with ice cream. So I think that there is a good portion for this and having ice cream and the strawberry stuff. I think if we weren't having the ice cream tonight with this, then I would probably double it because I know my kids like whipped cream. All right, <clears throat> that is all ready. Ready, you wanna go ahead and try it? 
You want to hold it? You can have it. That's the whipped cream for tonight. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> it's doing the happy dance. You like it? Mm. Yeah. I think everyone will be very happy with that. All right, so I'm going to put this in the fridge. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the muffins out. And well, that'll be about it. Look at you. That's it good. <laughs> you don't want the rest of them there? Mm. There's more. No? Mm -mm. You want mommy to have it? Mm. Okay, that's really good. What's whipped cream? Who doesn't like whipped cream? You sure? Is there anyone love? Yum. <laughs> All right, so we'll save this for tonight, okay? All right. You want some applesauce? You got it? Yes. I know, I'm gonna be making lunch very soon for us. Cool. Chicken burger? Yeah. Okay. Chicken burger. Chicken burger. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get these muffins on my um, little tray here. Or plate. I think I need more coffee. <laughs> Coffee. More coffee for mommy. Okay, let's get these on the plate. So they've definitely have cooled a little bit. And look how nice that comes right out of the silicone molds. I'm going to kind of turn the light on. Oh, they smell so good, Charles. Mm -hmm. You want to smell them? Come yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Right? Mmm. Smells really good. Look how pretty they are. Thank you for helping with that. They're still a little warm, but they are sliding right out of these little silicone muffin, muffin cups. I think I might have to make them gluten free. Those look great. Well, thank you for watching. I will put some together later tonight after dinner and I can show you what they look like finished, but they look so fluffy. I'm really gonna have to try making this gluten-free and letting you guys know how it is gluten-free. So they look really good. You know what do you think, buddy? Yes, oh yeah, he's ready to go play and have some, some lunch. All right, well, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. These were really a big hit with everyone last night and even over homemade vanilla ice cream for gluten free having just the strawberries and the ice cream was really delicious. Everyone loved the muffin pan strawberry shortcakes. I will be making this again another time and also making it gluten free.